If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Spain came back active yesterday and he has really, but really upset me because he has sabotaged me and my allies. When I go to the espionage tab, you can see that in my capital, four spies have been caught. You can see here in my spy reports that I caught four spies of an unknown nation. And of the four of those, I caught one before he was able to execute his mission. However, others were able to complete their mission. And so they were able to steal $30,000 and 3,000 goods. You can find the same information also here in the newspaper. A J change in the newspaper has been published. Spain versus Tanya Nika, one spy on military sabotage mission who was in Prime Minister's Asi Furorvin service has been captured in Dodoma. Economical sabotage as a vast amount of food have been destroyed, large amounts of food and vast amounts of today's tax revenue, meaning a half of the daily production of both food and money in the capital have been stolen. Same thing happened in North Mexico. Small amounts of tax revenue were stolen by unknown robbers. A vast amounts of oil, small amounts of tax revenue, small amounts of oil, today's tax revenue. You get the message. Same happened in Miami, the capital of Caribbean. Egypt had the same problem, me as well. Not only was I able to capture four unknown spies, I was also able to capture a spy and reveal in whose service he was, also Spain. I mean, what's this problem with Spain? He didn't participate in the game at all, went AI at day 6, went AI twice already, and now he comes back and the first he does is launching a big sabotage mission against me and my allies. What? Come on, man. Same thing here, one spy, two spies. So I caught plenty of spies, a lost boat, a lot of goods and a lot of money. And so I did some calculations. Eight spies in total were caught. 13 spies have been successful. That's 21 spies, 21, that's a lot. So I called Spain out in the newspaper. So I said, you do jack the whole game, you go AI twice, and now you economically sabotage me and my allies. No doubt you are in league with Turkey and Persia doing their bidding in exchange not to get attacked. If you can only play like that, you shouldn't have joined the game at all, right? Immediately Persia denying what I'm saying. One spy costs $10,000, so we are talking here about $210,000 and it costs $4,000 for one mission, so that's an additional $84,000. That's in total $294,000. And then we still need to add the unsuccessful spies that weren't caught. I hope you are broke now and that tomorrow your spies will desert. Of course, you can imagine that in the newspaper this is uh, creating quite some drama. After Persia, also Turkey is denying having had contact with Spain. Persia claiming there's a bug in the newspaper with spy reports. And so we've got Spain. Persia and Turkey asked me to spy bomb you guys. Of course they did. In good faith, before I stop sharing maps with Persia, I tell him who my allies are. The day change after, everybody gets attacked with spies. Coincidence? I don't think so. Thank you very much, Wavering Spy 18. Nice touch with the name, by the way. I hope tomorrow when Spain is out of money that his spies will be wavering too. Of course, Persia is denying. I should ask Spain for, ter for screenshots of this, actually. He claims they begged him in Discord to do it. Tlanyanike asked to post the evidence over here. And now Persia wants the troll removed. And actually, I've asked the game operator to run a background check on Spain. It's not a multi-account and they didn't find any incriminating. He didn't break any rules, so of course he stays in the game, right? We've got Egypt who has been able to march with the stack all the way almost to Tanyanika's capital. Tanya Nika has been taken under the wing of Benchualand. Of course, Persia and Turkey 
together with their allies, whomever they are, but I suspect might be Siberia, Tibet, Sweden, who knows? Of course they want to win the game, and so all measures are good. I mean, all is fair in love and war, so uh, let's go guys. Poland is now attacking Sweden, and if I remember correctly before, they were in a coalition. So those who are surviving over here, both Poland and Spain, they are doing the bidding of Persia. Or Poland just wanted to grab a bit of the cake. Or Sweden attacked Poland. I don't think so because he's in war with Persia. Let's check in the newspaper. So here we are. Yesterday morning actually, I didn't see it. Moose person opened fire on the unsuspecting soldiers of Kusa. So who's Kusa? Kusa is Poland. Okay, so Sweden surprised attacked Poland. All right, that's another thing we've learned. Which is cool is that so far, a little to no players have gone AI, which is great. We've got, of course, Algeria, Burma, and Borneo who were deleted from the game. The first AI here is Sumatra. For the rest, there are no AI players here in both Asia, Europe, or in Africa. Germany is also AI, by the way. It never got filled up, so it's not a player AI. And in the US, we have now British Columbia, who has gone AI, which is no surprise, of course. So, there's still plenty of players in the game that are active. So, this is really cool. Ranked first, Colombia, second, Manchuland, third, Turkey, fourth, Persia, and Tibet is fifth. I'm still ranked in place 10. Not one of my biggest achievements, but uh, I made too many allies. That's not a good thing. You need to expand in this game. We've got a small problem here with Caribbean that is getting massacred by eight Turkish subs. I warned him about this four hours ago, but unfortunately he didn't react. He's not active enough, he didn't escort his units. That's half of his army right there that is going down. This is unacceptable. Why have a navy if not to protect your units? His navy is over here, shelling these units. That's England. Leave England alone. He's not even active. These ships should have been up there protecting his units. Two battleships, five cruisers, two destroyers, one submarine. There should be interceptors here to counter attack naval bombers when they arrive. There should have been destroyers there to spot submarines. And if there would have been naval bombers, that would have been even better. Nothing like that is there. Very disappointing. However, he's a new player, Caribbean. Uh, he's only level 30, so he will learn. I hope he's gonna make this mistake only once. It's unfortunate that he did it in this game. Because Turkey is coming. So these 13 units over here, they're not gonna make it. I wanted to make a coordinated attack. Because we got North Mexico, who has right away with Portugal. I have finally taken Iceland, so I'm sending my navy back. So in 13 hours time, I'm gonna have my navy in place. I'm gonna have almost all my units over here. I'm only waiting for another 5 SP artillery to be produced. The fifth one should come out yeah, like in 4 minutes. They take 4 hours and a half to be made. So in the large 14 hours, I'm gonna have my last one. I'm gonna be able to start disembarking. I'm gonna send them all the way over here. That's 14 hours, 17 minutes. And then I'm gonna start upgrading my whole navy. I've got destroyers level four and cruisers level three in research. And we're just gonna upgrade them in one time. As soon as all my navy is upgraded, I'm gonna disembark my units. I can already move them closer now. There we go. I'm gonna set the rally points here. There we go, perfect. I'm making a couple more interceptors too because the enemy has a lot of interceptors and we have 10 which I'm gonna go upgrading soon. With five level three carriers, I've got 30 places. So I'm gonna take this stack of 20 planes over here. I'm gonna take four naval bombers with me. So I have another space for six interceptors. So I'm producing six interceptors fast so that I can leave with 30 planes because I'm gonna need every plane I can take with me. And then once all these units are underway, I'm gonna have to upgrade my sub wall, my naval bombers. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. I wanna say a warm thank you to my members and elite members for supporting this channel.